Oops, I'm still on KC, but we're trying to, uh -huh. trying to test stock in it, which is going to great. And this is a carriage that jammed. It was a typical situation. I got an email saying it's just... I'm going to start short rowing. Well, Jack explains what was going on with this carriage. Okay, this was one that I got an email saying it wants it jams every so often. It just won't work right with the MC buttons in the center. Uh, she wrote me back to say it's gotten worse, and I had proposed the deep soak cleaning. So it's actually been about four and a half, five weeks in the bath, which it sorely needed. There was a lot of pink jelly in there when I pulled it out just a little while ago. Now it's all cleaned up and everything seems to be working very, very smoothly. I think it's a typical situation that knitters run into if you knit a lot or sometimes when you get a used machine. There's a lot of buildup of fiber and old grease in there and it has a nasty way of getting where it doesn't belong every time. Okay, short rowing went well, as I'm sure you saw. Now we're making sure that it'll knit back from hold on both sides. That's the NH button. I had it in H for short rowing, of course. Now I have it in N. Right. Normal or hold. For some reason, my yarn is acting as naughty as possible. Okay, I believe that's enough of the basics. Let's set this to KC and let it select. That went perfectly. I'm setting my card to advance, pushing part, so we should get slip stitch. Well, I'm not a knitter, but I can definitely say it's not jamming. It is not jamming. Oh, we be jamming, Mom. Well, that kind of jamming. Yes. Only because we enjoy seeing one perform correctly. Now I'm going to change to tuck. And we just did a video of these brother carriages, what happens when you use the tuck and slip buttons. And it's very similar, so if anything gets crosswise in there and doesn't do what it's supposed to, that's when you get them jammed. Back to end for a couple rows. Shifting to KC again. Trying to stay out of the way again. <laughs> Always tricky. Now I'm going to insert color two and feeder two. Push MC. And we should be knitting fair eye. Do you need both buttons or just one? Just one. Okay. And this is one of the primary jam situations. Let me stop and move my weights up. I'm being a little risky here. And I'm going to move in so we can mm -hmm. see that beautiful white and purple, which makes such a great contrast. If you have trouble with Fair Isle, dropping stitches at the edges or making sloppy edges... It's probably just because it's fussier about having weights on those edges than some other stitches are. Well, that's doing just super. Now we're doing thread lace, so that requires both of these two main buttons. Right. And if I remember correctly, this is when all the trouble started, was trying to do both center buttons at the same time and... Then the jamming got worse and worse. That's going nicely now. That is a smooth sound. Okay, I had a mishap. I was all upset with the machine. But it was operator error. If you let the card run out, it doesn't give any information to the knitting. And the needle butts flatlined, just like in the <laughs> hospital. Yeah, they sure did. But that's working as it should. Okay, now we're knit weaving. So I have to move my purple, which is color two, from side to side and let the carriage pick it up. And it's actually weaving it over and under the needles. It's not knitting it. That's what it's meant to do. 
I was trying to follow you so that we could see what you were doing over there. Bringing it back around. And there's a V-shaped fin. It's got to go right, right. in there. Yep, yep, and then it weaves it in. Now come over to the left and I release it. Make sure it's clear of the sinker plate. Come back Pick up. it up on the other side. It's a little more time consuming than some things, but very attractive. Normally used from the pearl side because the knit side's just not that interesting. Let me scrap this off and we'll have a look at our swatch. Top is stockinette. You can see how the weaving section sort of spreads out the stockinette but only makes a shadow of the weaving color. There's the thread lace. Nice. And we did a nice piece of that because that was an area of concern. We've done it a, a couple times. Um, try to ignore my mistake. There is a nice piece of fair isle. That is pretty. Tuck stitch. And below it, slip stitch. And our short rows. It's got a couple holes in it because of the way that I did it. I wasn't worried about wrapping. I only wanted to make sure that it was working properly. And I did the whole thing again because we don't like to let it go home with a skimpy test. But I do believe it is ready.